Well, hello and welcome to India Fights Back. This is one show on RSTV that gets you all the information you need to know about the COVID-19 pandemic and of course, how we are waging this battle. I'm your host, Rajat Kane, and in today's edition of the show, we'll take up the important issue of hesitancy for the vaccine. Well, India is off to a rather smooth start. Uh, last weekend, on Saturday, we start our drive of mass vaccination, already referred to as one of the largest mass vaccination drive to be seen in the times to come. However, there are some issues that has cropped up, even though minuscule, there happens to be some adverse reaction cases. And of course, parallel to that happens to be uh, this feeling of the vaccine hesitancy as as per the preliminary data, uh, all the centers who are equipped with vaccination are seeing a shortfall in the desired targets. Well, how important is it to allay any apprehension that is there and causing vaccine hesitancy to discuss more on this extremely important issue? We're joined with a panel of three experts. They are doctors in the right and of course, they have been working during this pandemic as a frontline health workers, experts, and doctors. In today's show, we're joined with Dr. Lakshmanan S. He's Mission Director of National Health Mission from Assam. Many thanks, Dr. Lakshmanan, for joining us. Dr. Dhruva Chaudhary, he's State Nodal Officer for COVID-19 Haryana. And Dr. Sunir Agar, she's Director and Professor, Head of Community Medicine from Maulana Azad Medical College in Delhi. Pretty well-known institute and a well-known doctor. Many thanks, Dr. Gar, for joining us. Uh, so let me start with you, uh, Dr. Chaudhary, first from the state of Haryana. So, starting up, uh, given the numbers that is de designated for all the centers going for the vaccination drive, what is the feedback from your center? What is, uh, how are you going about your vaccination drive? You see, Rajat, uh, first of all, thank you very much for Many uh, thanks, sir. Uh, uh, on having us on this thing and discussing a very important component of the, of the vaccination hesitancy. The day one when we started in Haryana, we had nearly around about on an average uh, 78 to 80% vaccination on day one. And in certain cities, which have seen actually, the which are, I will say, the districts which are ravaged by, uh, mm -hmm. by COVID, like the NCR, we saw like in Gurgaon more than 100%. Same was true for uh, Faridabad also. And then okay. uh, Rohtak, we had somewhere at that time around 78% or so. But right. of late, when we start looking at it, then it has, all, it has gone down very significantly. Especially mm -hmm. when we are talking in terms of, uh, when we are talking in terms of vaccinations. And I think there have been two couple of reasons which I had been discussing with my colleagues right here in Rohtak and at other places in Haryana. Mm -hmm. You see, there are three, four things which have been brought forward is, one is that people have inadequate information, like I can say, because of the COVID uh, app, sometimes they have not been able to get that messages in time. That is one, right. but that is the least of it. Most important is that word by mouth, the adverse effects which people have been talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that has got magnified disproportionately. And okay. people say, okay, let's wait and watch and see what is the safety data which is coming up. Because you must remember the phase one are the medical professionals or the healthcare yes. workers. So, mm. so they're dealing with it. So they try to look at it, how safe it will be. So it's a mm. wait and watch policy too. Third, which I could make it out was that a fairly a large number of people, up to 30% of the people, the uh, staff had a COVID. So, so there is a confusion in their mind to go or not to go for it. Another very interesting component which has been brought up by my mm -hmm. colleagues in the community medicine, I hope Dr. Sanila has been pointed to it, that a major chunk of healthcare workers are females. And quite okay. a few of them are lactating, especially the younger one, or there is a fear of pregnancy. And finally, the nasty work of WhatsApp University, if I say, the things, messages being spread in terms of, uh, of mm -hmm. creating a doubt. And finally, particularly among the doctors, the debate which has started, which vaccine is better? Is it a COVID shield or it is a co-vaccin? So there's a lot of debate which has started coming up. The institutions where the trial of co-vaccin has gone on, there mm -hmm. seems to be more inclined towards that. And where that trial has not gone on, 
it seems they are more towards covishield and another observation is there hard data has yet to come that mm-hmm. quite a few who got vaccinated had a covid probably are complaining little more of adverse event so i am a member of the state adverse event i think that will be a little premature but these are the initial few observations which needs more confirmation and evidence right right that's very important dr chaudhry an extremely important valid point rather you said that there happens to be a lot of confusion of course like a uh, lot of posts in social media of course there is rumor mongering that is quite obvious and that is fairly common on the social media dr garg uh, how important do you think is it to address these apprehensions and also uh, on 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 the question on on the rather uh, observation what dr chaudhry made about choice between the two vaccine we we saw a report in papers a couple of days back that covaxin had uh, suggested some of the recipients not to go for their vaccine as yet so is it also causing any sort of i won't say misinformation but hesitation dr garg uh, thank you uh, rajat for a very very important question and uh, i have no doubts and i agree with dr chaudhry that it is very important you know to exactly address whatever is emerging in the mind of people to look at mm-hmm. you know first of all two vaccines like covaxin and covishield you see by and large you know we are knowing that covishield's efficacy is well known and all that but for covaxin though you see we have done all the trials in india including the animal trials and we have included much larger number of people 25000 800 people in india and right. it has proven to be very safe vaccine but okay. particularly this you know information has to go far and wide you know through mm-hmm. media rather than only talking about that people you know who are immunocompromised or who are you know taking anticoagulants and all they should not be taking so mm-hmm. somewhere you know this kind of information needs to be cleared for and as far as my personal observation goes yesterday when i was looking at you know side effects to covishield were more as compared to covaxin at different okay. sites and also you know in from the beginning i visited two to three sites which were giving covaxin and people had no hesitancy in signing about you know what was written on the uh, consent forms and all that i think if we go in a straight manner without diverging because the more we divulge the information it is necessary that everybody should know this information but mm-hmm. you see we have to be very clear in our minds that initially we have started with doctors and healthcare mm-hmm. workers the more yeah. the information is there more you think you know like if suppose a doctor has to undergo surgery he will th- think much more beyond of the yeah. complications as compared to a normal person to which we give a uh, information but in a very very you know different manner so mm-hmm. it is very important to monitor each and everything but it is also important to clear myths and misconceptions in the minds of people you know so there are a lot of myths particularly with regard to adverse events and all and we have got now two vaccines and what we have to realize is that very soon we will be dealing with five more vaccines they are mm. uh, which are there in different phases of trial so somewhere the correct communication with regard to both the vaccines is very important and one should definitely see that you know as of now which i think dr chaudhry has been part of these trials and he will you know also make a mention of that you know out of so many individuals who are there as part of trial no time the trial has been stopped with regard to co vaccine and we have got only minor side effects that is important so uh, you, and which are part of any immunization program when we were immunizing children also we, mm-hmm. which we have been doing so uh, okay. every doctor explains to them that bacche ko ye tika lagane ke baad mein fever aayega swelling ho sakti hai usko and jaise jaise particularly when we talk of dpt doses and all you know the fever and pain and all it goes on increasing because of the pertussis component of the vaccine but by now the parents are well informed and they come forward gradually this situation will also come for india when more and more people are going to be informed and they are going to come forward and also i realize that initially you see because you see of we are also straightening our systems in different mm-hmm. booths as to how to call the frontline workers and all and as the mention was made for the private hospitals like max or medanta and these group of hospitals why they are having 100 out of 100 is because you see they substitute the people and they call they don't let the vaccine go waste and they call other persons uh, and mm. this is where what we should be doing that we should have immediately a backup list ready, uh, ready and we should call the next group of persons so that you know we should not let the vaccine go waste 
and you know let every person be immunized and if more and more persons are immunized that will lead to thinking of you know by other individuals that if he has immun uh, got immunized let me also go and get immunized at the vaccination right 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 dr gurd many thanks uh, for your thoughts and certainly i'll come back to you as we explore more dimensions of this important issue dr lakshmanan joins us uh, from assam so many thanks so uh, so i mean my question here is uh, like what has been response in your state or in your center and uh, is there also the cases of hesitancy that you have seen at your center uh, good afternoon rajat thank you so much uh, many thanks sir coming straight to the question mm -hmm. the observations given by dr choudhury and dr uh, gar thank you so much but i would like to differ slightly here because right. we are in the very very early stage of mm -hmm. a massive vaccination campaign as our honorable prime minister on 16th of january while inaugurating the launch of covid vaccination mentioned we plan to vaccinate about 30 crore people of of whom we are just starting mm -hmm. with the 1 crore healthcare workers now right as we see as on today's morning that is 21st of january mm -hmm. we have already vaccinated more than 8 lakh healthcare workers mm -hmm. just imagine before 16th of january we did not have any person vaccinated outside the trials mm -hmm. right just within 6 days of which many days may not have been vaccination session sites uh, vaccination days in many states within 6 days we have already vaccinated 8 lakh people which is almost 8 percentage of our target right so what is i am trying to say is that we have started even though there are infantile issues we are marching forward and mm -hmm. what i believe is the hesitancy factor will get dissolved itself when more and more people are on the other side of the line that is people right. who are already vaccinated as rightly told by uh, dr gurg ma'am had mentioned that when more and more people get vaccinated it happens because of two reasons one better awareness about the vaccine mm. two seeing people who they believe perceived to be better knowledgeable who are already vaccinated mm. many a time even if i cannot personally understand a detail if i see a person whom i respect as a knowledgeable person has mm -hmm. already got his vaccination in all likelihood more and more people are likely to get vaccinated and this is one thing which i guess every state every district every institution is trying to uh, emulate in the case of assam also yeah. initially when we launched many of the senior doctors including our ex vice chancellor professors leading surgeons all of them came forward many of them got their first dose of vaccine on 16th itself and mm -hmm. even now uh, different doctors and leading personalities illuminaries uh, as far as medical education is concerned are coming for forward and having their vaccine so what i believe is this initial hesitancy whether uh -huh. we discuss about different types of vaccines uh, some adverse events i think it is more and more likely that after 10 15 20 days we will be in a much better position and marching towards our target yeah dr lakshman and i'm sorry to just uh, interjecting here uh, i know it's it's still early days and uh, once we have a more robust data we'll be ha we'll be able to make a better conclusion out of it but at present at moment it's been uh, fifth day uh, what has been response at, a, at a at your center in in your state to say of like just just very briefly are you meeting yeah. uh, the des designated or desired targets of vaccinating x number of people or are you seeing a shortfall as they has been witnessed in other states uh definitely there is a shortfall from the pre fixed targets because the baseline idea was to get 100 people in a session site vaccinated every day okay a mix okay. of reasons uh starting from availability of uh internet in certain places covin portal related glitches and issues at some places then right, the pre selected right. beneficiary is not getting the information on time and fourth as uh, dr choudhury had mentioned that some of the people mm. who have been selected are in 
different stages of uh, pregnancy or even lactation right so right, all right. these in addition to that some of the absentees even after they were present in the locality prefer mm-hmm. not to take the vaccine as on date which we can definitely relate to the hesitancy which we are discussing about right dr ashwin i'll come back I to you this is this is important Assam right just 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 hold on sir i'll come back to you i'll come back to you now here i want to include dr choudhury sir uh, in your in your last rep- in, in your reply you were just mentioning that uh, the uh, one of the major hesitancy happens to be from uh, you know the misinformation now here at the same time we are seeing hesitation from the health staff itself so uh, how important does it get to actually communicate to to your own health workers that whether i mean this vaccine is beneficial and extremely beneficial so you see you're very right i think rajat that's the key mm-hmm. you see there are two things which is there one is a scientific robust data and second is is looking at it so everything boils down to one what dr gurg said it's a mm-hmm. communication that's mm-hmm. that's important and, and the question is what i am realizing is unfortunately uh, the large number of people who have come into the electronic media talking about primarily majority of them i'm sorry to say so have mm-hmm. primary no idea of immunization in terms of practical aspect of it right because right. everybody is talking in terms of theoretical aspects mm-hmm. or the data so called published a b yes. again i am i am sorry to say it uh, and with all humility i am saying when you mm-hmm. have something name written oxford or you have written harvard or you have written something like that or you have a cambridge or you may have mit acceptance suddenly comes up so mm. when you have to so you have to work double the time so i can assure one thing to you because communication is the key no doubt about yes, it yes absolutely and more absolutely. the medical professionals are there more they read about it more the question starts about it because mm. we have to realize today that the vaccination has become in terms of development as complex as anything else we started with live attenuated we went to kill we went to sub unit now we are venting we are going right up to the messenger vaccination so they all have their pluses all have their minuses now there is no head to head data against a against b because that is a very common question being put into it it's okay. a perception which is guiding it therefore what i have been trying to tell everybody is and i request all my medical colleagues is please stick to the basics mm-hmm. and at the same time when somebody asks me like lot of people are immuno compromised immuno modulator do we need vaccination mm. now that's 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 a very pertinent question in the trial setting none of the person who is immuno suppressor immuno modulator has been tested therefore you go by your gut feeling which may not always be the right thing okay. because you have okay. to have a data for that so so what is important for all we have to talk is safety is the key that mm-hmm. is why we are monitoring the adverse event because if it is not safe whatever immune response is or effective it may be it is of no good use therefore mm. we have to reassure the first thing in communication is whatever we are giving public health is important and the public health brick is laid by every single individual mm. not that it is a general i think that thing we have to do we do not want even a single person to have an adverse event as far as possible but as again the challenge which is coming up here uh, uh, rajat is it's an adult vaccination program what we are used to is the pediatric age or our mm. childhood vaccination program right, so it's a right. seesaw change in the mindset and the behavior which you have to see and that is what is causing it i think that, that's where we need to tell people very right. clearly that vaccination is safe we have to break the chain i don't mm. want that india tomorrow should have 700 cases per one lakh what usa is suffering or uk is suffering so it's a window of opportunity mm. but at the same time now we need to have a data where we are trying because of field condition that everybody needs to be vaccinated we need to understand the basic of the disease and i said it it's a perception if the documentation comes that who already have it covid if they have a good antibody response that is mm-hmm. what is equally important because we have to keep on having the data there then probably the number of people we need to vaccinate will also go down suppose mm-hmm. if i have like when we started vaccination trial we had only 3% positive but when we went to the phase 5 fourth phase sorry phase 3 15% were having antibody positivity and at certain center up to 40% uh, 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 positivity of antibodies is there mm-hmm. now the question will start coming when we are calculating the 30 crore which we are looking at actually to me honestly i am putting my neck out probably mm-hmm. is a much higher number we might be requiring much lesser numbers than this 
actually to achieve uh, your uh, targets which are there. So probably we have to keep on adapting our response as people are doing it. But for the medical people, I think we need to have a different set of communication. It cannot be jack in the box. Right, because sir. if the right. doctor will have Absolutely. it, the head of mm. the department will have it, the students will follow it up. The people mm. who are following, that's why the medical education department, leadership is there. I salute Professor Guleria, Dr. Mm. Paul, for becoming and taking the vaccines first. I think if it would not, data would not have been robust, would not have been safe, they would mm. not have been put into it. And one more thing in communication, again, I am saying, they are saying people are getting it signed. When you have cleared it in a trial mode, they are mm -hmm. very clearly following the land of rule of the law. Yeah, eh? That is what is directed by the Indian Council of Medical Research. That is what is required by the law of the land to do that. Mm -hmm. And what is important to remember is they are not running and shying away from the responsibility. I think that should reassure the people that mm -hmm. whenever the product is coming, efficacy, accepted, time will tell. But from the robust data which we have from phase two, at least of Covaxin, I can say so, is, is that out of the 50 people we had, Given this thing, only one had a COVID, and that too did not follow the instruction. Rest 49, whomsoever have done, have shown a very robust right. antibody response. Right, right, Dr. Chaudhary. So, so, so I think we must go with clear that the vaccines which have been cleared are safe. Side effects which we are reporting, obviously, some mm -hmm. of them can have an allergic reaction if somebody has to viral cell lines or to egg or the or the propyl ethylene glycol, or if somebody has an adenovirus antibodies in them already because of COVID shield. They, that's why mm. you are seeing a little higher incidence of fever and all, because all of us are having some amount of adeno infections. Mm. Therefore, I think we need to be very clear. The team needs to be clear, and we need to reassure they are safe. When we say safe, some amount of adverse events which are reported are being taken in account. Right, right. Dr. Chaudhary, this is very important, so we need to reassure in that count as well. Uh, Dr. Garg, like for the benefit of our viewers, uh, would you just list out what perhaps any recipient of the vaccine, if at all, an adverse reaction is caused? So what are those adverse reactions and how common are these adverse reactions in terms of vaccination for a virus? See, when we talk of there are routine reactions, what we say, because we are injecting, you know, antigens in different forms. Hmm. So it can be, you know, fever, pain, it can be mild allergic rash or it can be headache or you know person may be having myalgia and all that so these are minor ones but you mm. see if we talk about the major ones the person collapses and all that so that can be a major one but you see by and large we have not seen any of the major reactions yes, yes, but absolutely. you know the reactions like if we say pain at the site of vaccine or swelling at the site of vaccine generally these are disappearing within 24 hours so mm. as of you know when we talk about they are hardly less than even one percent of these reactions so we have mm. to talk of that so these are the ones which uh, and against we have to see the effect of the benefits as mm. I was telling you, the benefit of taking the vaccine versus having a pain or fever uh, or, you know, let's say body ache, that is you, nothing in, as compared to the when we are talking of the cost benefit ratio with regard to, you know, the having the disease versus having the vaccine. So that mm. is much more so. Uh, and this is one thing which needs to be emphasized. The second mm. thing which I uh, want to say that apart from, and here, you know, people who are involved in different trials or who were who are the scientists and program managers, they need to come forward and they need to speak in unified voice. You see, whatever the controversy of scientists, maybe they're in between. That mm -hmm. is, you know, but we, we we cannot, you know, because public cannot perceive in the same way to scientists can differ amongst themselves, you know, with regard to efficacy data, no efficacy data and all that. Mm -hmm. But then by and large, we are knowing that both the vaccines are our indigenous vaccines with safety which is most important safety means we are not losing anybody there's nobody you know who has died because you see one news was there from Muradabad and the person died because of heart attack and I was suddenly remembering you know Saurav Ganguly's case you know he had heart attack and luckily he did not take vaccine and then you know mm. if somebody would have said if you'd have taken vaccine so you know maybe people can attribute to that so we have to be very careful in our responsible communication and we have to give every information to the person like the pediatricians will also say 
that okay now your child has got this vaccine he may develop fever so take paracetamol this is there and also you see it is important to make it and uh, let me tell you this program has also brought out many issues into the foresight mm -hmm. like earlier you know when the pediatricians were giving the vaccine people were not waiting for half an hour though officially they are supposed to wait for half an hour so that they can be monitored now you see this uh, covid 19 has brought up many issues on the surface and making you know even all our health systems more responsible our manpower more responsible to see that you see not only we are monitoring our adults but even our children as well but your first question which is very important is that that we need to be aware that minor events can occur you know after right. giving the vaccination which can be only and also it depends upon the susceptibility of the individual today i took right. this vaccine 3 hours back and i'm sitting in front of you you know so you can make out that exactly i was counseled well i was knowing about the vaccine and then you know the uh, right right uh, uh, the vaccinator who injected me just told me that ma'am you just do it like this and you know she was so polite and at every stage i faced you know such a positive cordial environment and you know mm. even at the waiting time so it's not that the, and we doctors are there and the very fact that you know we all come forward to take the vaccine but you know right. remember the doctors are most finicky also at that point of time so when we are taking the vaccine in you know and we are viewing everything carefully and if that means client satisfaction becomes very very important right, doctor, and our medical right, fraternity right. is not that it is so easy to convince so let me tell you that you know if we go with the positive experience we will convince our you know uh, fellow uh, colleagues who have to take at whatever levels they are and accordingly right, you right, know basically right, the positive right, message is going to go ma'am right, another thing if right, you permit me just to just very uh, sir, just sir, sir i have to i have question. just a minute with me after square right. my uh, 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 ask very small question to dr lakshman so very briefly uh, how are you allaying any misinformation that you often see on any sort of media or or say any sort of social media extremely briefly sir you have a mechanism in place to counter that dr lakshman yes of course the first and foremost step here is to share whatever information regarding vaccination we have proactively from our side prior to someone coming up with a cooked up story right, so what right. we do is every day evening we share a medical bulletin to the media stating the number of people who have come up for vaccination today the number of person sites and mm. in case of any adverse event whether serious or non serious that this case had happened in this place this was the reaction this was the treatment given this is the current status of the beneficiary so this is the first proactive step from our side second right sir we are I've... having the video records of different eminent people who have already got vaccinated inside our state and occasionally from other states also right very right dr lakshman i have to country. like like i get your point yes. extremely extremely well planned and uh, i would say a uh, well coordinated efforts by our health experts and doctors and the administration who are vaccinating people so clearly uh, allaying any apprehension or misinformation is extremely important and more so since it's early days and we'll be having more scientific data of the efficacy of the vaccine well many thanks for watching this edition of the show keep watching rs tv and many thanks to our experts dr lakshmanan dr dhruva choudhury and dr sunil agar thank you and goodbye thank you